We got our first storm, uh, tropical storm of the season, bearing up, bearing our way, coming from Africa. Uh, it should be over Puerto Rico today, and we should start getting winds here within the uh, next three, four hours. Um, right now, it's only scheduled to be 50, 60 knots. Um, so we'll find out how good of a safe harbor this is. Um, yeah, I'll let you look around. I'm not so worried about me. I'm so wor I'm worried about all these boats that are anchored that's going to drift back and get me. That's what I'm afraid of. Uh, the other option is to go into the mangroves uh, on top of the roots, but I'm going to try not to do that because getting untangled, untied, unstuck uh, is a bit pain in the ass, so I won't do that unless it gets really, really bad. Um, so yeah, so we'll see what happens. Uh, should be interesting. Well, the storm was supposed to be just a pretty small storm. Um, coming from Dominican Republic, it was, I mean, below Dominican Republic, it was supposed to have like 40, 45, 50 mile an hour wind, so it's not really nothing to worry about. Uh, the harbor here in Lupron is great, so pretty well protected. Um, yeah, skies are clear, but anyway, um, I'm glad I worried about those other boats because I'm surrounded by five anchored boats. And I'm the only one that's on a mooring right here. And between all of us, I'm the only boat that stayed in place. In this video, you'll watch all the other boats uh, going by me. So if you're an anchor in Lupron Harbor, uh, yeah, you need to come up with a better plan because that ain't happening. Uh, the moorings here is kind of iffy, but at least you don't have a 100% chance of dragging during a hurricane. Uh, right now I'm going to work my way to the front and put a second tag line on um, my mooring just uh, just for a little added protection. Well, this storm, hurricane, tropical, whatever it was, um, I learned a lot during this. Uh, if you notice the mooring lines, they're just in such a mess with growth and stuff. You really have no idea uh, what your mooring line's like. So after this storm and stuff, I'm going to be making a whole separate downline. I can go in down right before a storm and shackle it on. Uh, the moorings here, there's two 50-gallon barrels filled with concrete. So. Those are pretty good, but the rope going down to the barrel is really iffy. So for now on, I'll make a rope uh, where if I see a storm's coming, I'll dive down and hook on and um, completely bypass this rope. So anyway, uh, yeah. But as you this these um, this downline mooring line is so sharp, I'm trying to keep it off the dinghy because it's filled with barnacles. Extremely sharp. Trying to get a second uh, rope in here. Well, I had three anchors ready to go, uh, but I had enough boats going by me uh, during this hurricane slash tropical storm to realize if you're on a mooring and your boat broke, breaks loose, you're not going to have time to set an anchor because you are flying. So if you're um, so from now on, if I think it's going to be bad, I'll I'll pull out an anchor and set it uh, before the storm gets there because I know if my mooring goes. No matter if I throw my anchors over, my boat is going to be moving so fast, they're never going to catch. So, um, which is kind of the downside of a... Uh... When I used to work as a, a captain on a charter boat and stuff, uh, we always used fire hose for chafe controls. Uh, so because the barnacles are so sharp down here, I'm going to put a, a rope through a fire hose and uh, hope they won't chafe through because this stuff will just eat right through rope. So, yeah. Anyway, go back to the boat, fly the dinghy up, um, start stowing stuff for windage. Um, so
so I don't catch a lot of extra wind and then uh, just make sure everything's ship shape and then uh, just hurry up and wait. Well, another thing I learned during this uh, this during, during this whole video is get all my bumpers out. I got to make some kind of a board I can put between me and another boat because when the boats are coming at you and you cannot you're stuck in one place there's no way to fend them off you physically can't beat them off uh, after watching all these girls all these boats going by me all day I've got to find I've got to come up with some way of fending these things off when they're gonna run into me well here I'm setting up a spring line for my anchor so if I have to drop my main anchor uh, it's got chain and stuff and there's no way you need some kind of a spring on chain so anyway I'm getting this ready just in case I need it uh, luckily I didn't need it uh, we'll take down the wind scoop here and get get ready for that and check everything I got a spare anchor on board uh, like I said next time since I'm on a morning I'll be stretching out this anchor it's hot and muggy Yeah, but it's getting ready to. I've got uh, three anchors ready to go uh, with all safe protection. Uh, I got my bimini top tied back. Plug pulled on my dinghy. My generator gassed up right here. Every one of these boats you see in front of me um, went bye-bye during the hurricane. I, so I just beat them off me as they went by me. So like I said earlier, if you're on an anchor and you expect to have safe anchorage and loop run, it ain't happening. You're going to have to come up with a better system, whether you do anchored and mooring. But if you're just anchored, you're going to be screwed. Well, it's amazing. The ocean can be so calm and... Uh, it can be so violent too so it's kind of weird to go from a nice quiet mirror like ocean to a, a really violent ocean all in the same day uh, but that's part of living in the Caribbean it just happens well now there's nothing to do but just wait for the clouds to move in and the wind to build and uh, go down and make me something deep because it might be a few hours uh, before I eat again and and after this hurricane started, I basically sit outside for almost eight hours beating off boats. So I'm glad I ate before uh, this thing got here because, uh, yeah, it was a busy day. Anyway, the clouds are moving in really quick. Uh, the winds build up a lot here in the last 10 minutes. Uh, these things hanging from my ceiling is sausages you can buy here locally. They come in different sizes and shapes and stuff, but they're basically salami, hard salamis. And they just cut off a little bit every day and wrap them up. Even without refrigeration, they last forever. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to have some of these and then just uh, get ready, get my foul weather gear out, get my goggles out, and um, yeah, be, be ready for anything.